hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you so much for watching thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you all so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it let's get to it let's get to it um first off i want to say this thank you thank you thank you to all my subscribers that's been sending me donations thank y'all so much i appreciate you all and i mean every last one of you okay so thank you thank you thank you um let's get to cmg y'all okay because I'm hearing some things about CMG. Now, word on the street, okay? So, I'm going to say alleged because I'm not 100% sure. But this is what's been coming to me, okay? Now, word on the street is that there were two different camouflage cars at the scene when Dolph was taken out, allegedly, at the Makita's, y'all, okay? Two different ones, okay? Now, I am starting... To get all kind of information coming in saying that one of those cars belonged to a member of CNG, y'all. Okay? CMG. <laughs> I say CNG. <laughs> CMG. This is what I'm hearing. And they're saying that um, this car has been seen around Little Rock, y'all. So do he, is it somebody that's tied to CMG? That lives in Little Rock. Because this is where they're saying. That they've been seeing this car at. Okay. So. Hmm. Maybe some folks was on the scene. Okay. Now look. MO3 scene. Trap was on the scene. He was sitting there watching. The whole thing take place. He went, he went around twice. Okay. So he can view the body. And um, record. So if these guys is friends with Trap and Trap, you know, brag to them about how he, you know, went through and came back again and probably showed them the tape because, if you know, they had the watch party and showed everything to everybody. So it's not no doubt in my mind that he ain't showing his other rap friends, okay, about the tape. So did they, you know, feel some type of way about we want to be on the scene too? Ask yourself this question. Now, people have proved that there were two different type of camouflage cars. There was Young Dolph's camouflage car. And now they're saying that one of these cars belonged to one of these guys from CMG, y'all. Okay? And it's not something that, you know, he rants all the time, whoever it belongs to. They're saying that, you know, they're seeing this car a lot. And it's, they're saying it's the same exact car. Of one of those cars that, you know, that was on the scene of um, Young Doss, y'all. Okay? This is what I'm hearing. Okay? Now, another thing that I wanted to bring to you all's attention was YFN Lucci, y'all. Okay? Now, people are running around talking about YFN Lucci. Boy, don't be biting your lip like that. Especially when you locked up. Stop it. Okay? Now, people are saying that he tricked on Young Thug, okay? Now, I beg to differ because I don't believe he did. Now, he might have said they the ones that put the, you know, put the hit on me. But how would he know from behind bars where Young Thug's stash is? Ask yourself this question. Somebody that told on Young Thug, I believe, was somebody like, you know, knew what was going on on the outside. Now, this guy been locked up for a little while. How would he know what's going on in this man's house? Y'all, don't worry, I'll wait. Everybody is talking about, oh, he tricked on him, this and that and this. Now, put yourself in this man's place. Just think about this for a second, okay? If he did mention Young Thug is the one that put the hit on me, that's... <sighs> I would have told too. You are in a prison cell. 
with I don't know how many men that you don't know which one going to come at you next from one day to the other, okay? And y'all mean to tell me y'all wouldn't say nothing to them? Like, this is where this coming from, oh boy out there that I'm beefing with. You would not say anything? Y'all, please. I would have said some too. You don't know who going to come at you next. Now, mind you, this guy already then got hit up with a knife in there already. They didn't came for him with a knife. So, ain't no telling who was coming next. This guy is an artist. And I don't, for the love of me, I don't understand. Well, I do understand somewhat. Why they put them with everybody else. Because they want them to suffer a little bit. But when somebody is trying to take you out in a jail, you shouldn't be with everybody else. I just don't think so. Okay? I just don't see it. And he been in there, you know, for the time that he's been in there. And then now all of a sudden people was coming at him. I think somebody else was saying the same thing. I think it was Honeycomb Breezy or somebody was saying that somebody was coming for them trying to get, get him too while he was in there. And, you know, it just, you know, it went away. And nobody said nothing else about it. But he did. He reached out to, you know, the public and said somebody was after him while he was locked up. So what was wrong with this guy saying something? Y'all mean to tell me you're just going to sit like some sitting ducks and let them come to get you whatever chance they going to get? And somebody on the outside paying somebody to come at you? <sighs> Y'all bad. I don't even want to hear that. Because I would have said something too. And anybody else would have said something too. Especially and you don't know where it's going to come from next. Okay. Now word on the street is another thing that then came up in these YouTube streets. Okay. And I had the post, but I got to find it, okay, y'all? But I do have the post, but I'm going to just talk to y'all about it, okay? Rubber down the street is Honeycomb. Honeycomb, Breezy, or Beezy, whatever his name is. He's about to sign with a record label when he come out. Now, I thought he was already signed to somebody. Let me check it out real quick. But word on the street is, I don't know how much time he has. But they're saying that he's about to sign with... 1017 Gucci y'all Gucci now correct me if I'm wrong but ain't Gucci beefing with J Prince now I think he is I'm not sure but I think they don't they don't really get along I might be wrong though but this is what I'm hearing the honeycomb breezy let me see what he signed at now let me see. Give me a second, y'all. I should have had this already up. But I wanted to talk about some other stuff. And this just came to my mind. Record label. Here I come, y'all. Honey gone brazy. Brazy. Okay, that's it. He's with rap a lot. Hmm. He is with rap a lot. I wonder is his contract up or are they buying his contract out? Because this is what I'm hearing. Because a lot of these artists, when they're getting ready to sign with somebody else, something mysteriously happens to them. So we got to keep an eye on, out on Honeycomb, y'all. Because, um, you know, I heard rumors about Honeycomb. You know, I heard some things. And the things that I heard about Honeycomb was, you know, I, I think I did a video already on it. Talking about somebody, somebody told me this, so I'm going to say alleged. I'm not 100% sure about this. But they said that Boosie is the one that has something to do with Honeycomb going to jail. He tricked on him. Or put something in his car so that people can, you know, track him or something and listen to him. That's what I heard, okay? But I'm not 100% sure, so I'm going to say alleged on that. But um, it wouldn't surprise me. It really would not surprise me. But, um, yeah, we got to keep an eye out on him. Because if he's with, hmm, he is with Jay Prince now. I don't blame him for wanting to leave with them. I really don't. I don't blame him for not wanting to go somewhere else. Because people are dropping like flies. And if their own family members and rap a lot, it's getting, you know, it's dropping. They don't care about no rappers. They artists. Hmm, Y'all better keep an eye out on him because he's he is 
sending posts. He's sending messages out saying that when he when he hit the land, he is going to be riding with 1017, y'all. Gucci now. So, I don't think Rap a Lot and I'm going to like that too much. I was just reading something. It says this it, this all culminated in him signing a record deal with some top shelf record labels in 2020, namely RN for L, So South and Rap -A -Lot Records after signing his record deal. So what is he talking about? He already is signed. Is his contract up though? Don't he got to, you know, honor? Jay Prince has ID'd his next protege, and his name is Honeycomb Breezy. January the 30th, 2021. So how did he sign with rap -A -Lot and all of a sudden he's talking about he's about to sign with Gucci Num? Y'all, what is going on out here? How many people he think he can sign with? Do he think he could just take their money and, um... Go to somewhere else. He better be careful in there, y'all. But that, that's what I'm hearing. Um, that's what I'm hearing. He is trying to sign with 1017. Is this why people was coming at him, y'all? Did he get that money and now he trying to bounce? Let me see if they saying anything about it on here. Because he shows sending out posts talking about it. That's what I heard now, y'all. That is what I heard. I don't see how he going to. Yeah, they say he signed in 2020. But he been locked up. So how did he honor their contract? Or did they even pay him yet? Because if they didn't give him pass no money to him. And when did he get locked up? Mm, y'all this not looking good for him he better be careful in the jail because if he did sign a contract with um rap a lot they ain't you know they they honoring these insurance policies now they're not honoring nothing else they're trying to get rid of these guys allegedly so they can get these insurance policies so, I don't see them just letting him walk away like that if they pass money to him. Now, if he got locked up before he could spend their money and they got the money back or something like that, I don't know how this goes. But um, then maybe he don't have to honor that contract. Or maybe, you know, I don't think Gucci giving him enough money to, you know, pay off rap a lot so that he can walk away from it. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Wow, what a predicament, y'all. What a predicament. Well, I'm just telling y'all, you know, keep an eye out on Honeycomb because he's trying to make some moves. And um, he just better be careful, y'all. Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.